Hi there, I'm Cliff Mims and we're talking ed. Today I'm here with Cody Bayless. Uh, Cody is one of the librarians here at the University of Memphis uh, and he has helped uh, start the 3D printing lab here on campus and if you read the blog you may have seen a couple weeks ago uh, I provided some video and photos and gave a description of a recent tour that one of my classes took over there and we really enjoyed that experience and I've asked Cody to come uh, come be a part of Talking Ed and uh, uh, as we discuss the potential connections of teaching and learning uh, with 3D printers. Uh, the first question, Cody, is uh, tell us a little bit about the 3D printing lab here on campus and uh, some, some of what its purpose is. Mm -hmm. um, so on the University of Memphis campus, we recently got two MakerBot fifth generation uh, 3D printers and a MakerBot digitizer scanner. And the goal of our lab is to allow students, regardless of discipline, the opportunity to engage with the technology, the 3D printing, and some of its capabilities uh, to encourage interdisciplinary thinking about how these technologies can be used because they've reached the point now where uh, they're more affordable and you're seeing them more and more and having experience with them allows students the opportunity to uh, think more think differently about how about how they could be used um, we have on campus there's an engineering uh, school 3d printer and there's one in the entrepreneurship center uh, but those are both more closed off and we really wanted students to be able to get hands-on with this so we, we're allowing them to print themselves they go through a training process and it's much more uh, uh, hands-on hands than, than other process other printers have been on campus. All right, very good and so tell us a little bit about how you're, you've seen students begin to use this so far. Are they coming mm -hmm. over and designing big projects or, or are we more in the introductory phase where people are printing smaller items? We've had students printing um, some things for class projects, a lot of uh, different disciplines. Architecture has come over a couple different times, and of course instructional design, their uh, class came over and uh, viewed it. But what we're seeing right now is people printing things just to experience the process of printing. It's such a new technology to them that they just they want to see it print more than anything else. Um, the class projects that we've seen it used for have been um, projects that, that incorporate 3D printing for the sake of 3D printing. Um, now there have been a few uh, engineering students who are actually building their own files and uh, developing projects for uh, competition in uh, robotics and things like that. The nice thing about our printers is because uh, the MakerBots are actually very easy to use and they require less design time than the printers available in engineering or in the entrepreneurship center. Uh, so we're seeing usage across uh, traditional disciplines that would use it, 3D uh, engineering and uh, technolo engineering technology, but then all these other disciplines as well. Okay. And what, what are some ways, most of the people that, you know, will see this, watch this video or read the uh, corresponding blog post, most of them are teachers. And so what are some of the ways that uh, schools and teachers might see, see opportunities to connect uh, 3D printers in the classroom. Well, the nice thing about 3D printing is it is it makes available to students uh, resources that they haven't been able to access before. So, for example, uh, the Smithsonian actually has a library of 3D files that you can print. So, uh, some of them are archaeological uh, elements. Some of them are uh, anatomy samples and things like that. You could actually print them and have your students hold them. Um, there are examples in their files the, of things like tribal masks that that you could print and then have your students paint or um, something like that. Yeah, uh, there's also been some uh, use of creating things in Braille. So uh, students in in uh, with uh, visual impairments, uh, the technology assistants will will print objects and then put the Braille actually on the object. So you have that. Um, additional level of learning so okay um, and libraries have really evolved in the recent past I don't know 20 years or so and so to some people having a 3d printing lab 
inside of a library may seem like a bit of a you know a surprise and so why why are libraries really beginning to embrace these kinds of innovations and I think innovations even in your title you know mm -hmm. here at the university so so tell us a little bit about that movement well libraries whether it's at an academic institution or a public library uh, they offer the community that they serve a, an interdisciplinary collaborative space where people from all different backgrounds can come together and work and learn in an environment that's not uh, tied to any particular uh, discipline or, or environment. So we can have engineering students working with architecture students who are working with theater students on projects in the library with 3D printing in a way that would be more difficult in the engineering department where all the students are in, the, in similar disciplines working on similar projects. Um, our goal in having this sort of technology in the library is not to replace the technology in engineering but rather what we're trying to do is show a wider range of students the possibility of these uh, disciplines so that you might have an art student who considers a minor in engineering or sees the potential of this technology for their particular interests and vice versa you might have engineering students that hadn't thought about the artistic implications of what they're working on and so libraries offer that unique uh, space and because this technology is free for students uh, they have the room to make mistakes and to learn and to and to improve so that they can pursue more advanced topics or more advanced projects in disciplines with faculty that uh, have the experience that they need. Very good. And those of you that live in the Memphis area, you keep an eye on the library because there are a couple other innovative projects are in the works too that I'm really excited about and perhaps we'll be sharing, uh, be able to share those as they become available. Um, I appreciate your time today. Uh, any parting thoughts before we wrap this up? Uh, we encourage people to come to the library and to see the stuff that we're working on. Um, you can come and look at the 3D printers and if you know students, um, feel free to tell them about it and have them come over and use it. All right, well, very good. I'm Cliff Mims, and we've been Talking Ed.